Hello and welcome to Geeked Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to create a um, bean plant, the stalk with pods and leaves. Um, overall, this is, will be just examples so we can see on different type of techniques we can use it. Then this plant will be very nice to utilize them. So we'll go to create a plant. We also will work on a different type of the textures and see how we can create that as well. Yeah, so first what we begin is work with the main steam kind of. And uh, here's a challenge as well. We need to rotate, twist, spin, kind of create all this different effect on the, not just the steam itself, but also on the leaves and other effects. We also will go and create some um, bean pods with the seeds and probably flowers. We'll see how we can create it. A plant can be a little bit heavier, but um, we'll look mostly on the techniques. So let's go um, create our first. And right here, I'm just overall setting up, you know, original. Okay, and this time we're going to change on the link you know i want to create a large one so i want to create like maybe um being going you know very high so we have a giant going kind of clouds on this so i'll go use this one but right here i'm going to set 25 and the same time when we're going to create this um i want to go ahead and create some randomness the randomness help us when we're putting an ecosystem population it will help us to manage difference in height so we can do anything i'm just putting four so right now this one you can see it's actually come up even higher okay next um radius what i want to do i want to actually use user define so i want to create my own this and also let's put it some randomness in this and we're going to use it our filter to kind of shrink down and you can see we can go from top and maybe just about right here Okay, the end we actually can have very fun with the end as well part but you notice I did not gone all the way to the zero so I want to leave it a little bit because if I want to put it something on top you don't want to go all the way zero you want to leave it a little bit gap and using blending with parent another one so it's kind of they come together very nicely on top okay um, we will apply a few things tropism and also we will go and can work with uh, some influences when we start twisting so we'll come back to this one um, let's go to work on a cap and cap is our top one this one actually I'm going to smooth a little bit top right now okay in influence before we do some other things what I want to do is using local base and We'll go to edit curl and swirl some other of those effects as well. So let's go ahead, enable once. Okay, you notice, give it seconds so it's repositioned itself. And right here where it says direction, let's switch to the swirl. Okay, next what I want to do, it is increase power of the swirl to one. And again, because we will use it this as a population, add some randomness to this. And as well, I want to use, um, we just put it 3, 3, and maybe 1 right here. So you notice right here how we have a swirl going around. The one thing, I want to increase swirl on top, but decrease on, as going, uh, sorry, increase on the bottom, but decreasing as going top high. So it's different, kind of bigger and smaller, smaller. For this, we'll need to use it. Um, the filter and let's just create right here and take this little bit down so you can see how we kind of start affecting we can bring this okay, I 
think right here we can go even more. Yeah, that way will look a little bit more interesting. Okay, we can we can play around and see which one will look slightly better when you start twisting. Probably this one I will leave it. So we have it kind of more natural, more interesting look on this case. The next, um, also what I want to do is disable relative. So you can notice it's kind of stretch make bigger on the global. Okay, so let's go next. We'll probably come back and maybe modify this filter just slightly, you know, um, positioning. Okay, next let's go create another one. On this case, in this from direction, we'll go switch this to the curl. Okay, as curl, what I want to do, I want to actually put it maybe 0, 3, a little bit less because I want to use it randomness. Oops, 0 0.1. So it will be somewhere from 0 0.2 to 0 0.4. And let's say um, 1, 1, and Z maybe 0 0.2. And we'll just leave it relative and coordinate. So in this case, we curl on the side. So we're going twist around, swirl, and curl kind of around this. Okay, this has given us this plant kind of randomness going try around finding it what's happened the twist troll they find something the wrapping around kind of effect this is our um just overall basic effect that we creating so now we can go back to the segment and let's work a little bit on tropism so right here what i want to do i want to go a little bit higher up so i'll go 12 and maybe set randomness 5. So you notice it's bring a little bit back, but with angle what's happening, it will kind of start dropping and go up higher. If you don't want to drop that much, you always can fix this, but with these values, we can control a little bit better randomness in different plants, how they will go up or down. Okay. Actually, you know what, maybe we'll do even lower in this case. Okay, and of course we can go right here and change a little bit effect on the top so it's going down more. Okay, right here we have it our root, so let's go click and enable root flare. Just something to tie it up Right here you can notice we have a little bit artifact. It's because our twisting happened and in influence on a twirl and curl actually it's way affecting. So if you want to remove you can put it point and kind of fix on a root a little bit so we don't bring up. right here and let's go fix this one so we add point and we can bring maybe a little bit so you can see right here we're fixing the root a little bit because we remove all influence on this lower part and it's make look a little bit better okay cool. okay let's go segment and on our root, so we have a five. And what I'm doing, I'm adding maybe about four additional. It will add randomness to this. I'm going to pop up as well randomness on our root, so it's have a different effect will apply. Okay, the height. Um, you know what? Let's go bring a little bit up, and uh, we'll just pop up more stuff in and make it smaller. So we're kind of 
emphasize those roots almost make them a little bit stronger again if you needed to see all these values what they do check the basic tutorials where are going through all each parameters explaining what they do but overall right here I would just want to bring these roots segments a little bit sharper out like almost this plant going grub harder to the ground okay this is our stem and um, next what we're going to do is start adding additional components and we'll do this in the next part of the tutorial.